Chinese leaders make it clear that they want to boost the renminbi's profile as a reserve currency. Hi, I'm Madeline with CPTV News. We're going to tell you about that. Plus, the CPHS robotics team has three teams moving on to world's competition in Dallas, Texas. U.S. economists are closely studying China's plan to achieve reserve status, as this could have multiple implications for U.S. retirement portfolios and personal investments. For the past 70 years, the U.S. dollar has been the world's dominant currency. However, many foreign countries are starting to see China's dollar, the renminbi, as a safer asset and as a result are using it for trading. If this process continues, we may start to witness the devaluing of the U.S. dollar and as a result, our personal investments. CPHS robotics teams 1233A, G, and W have all made it to the world's competitions and will be competing April 25th through 27th in Dallas, Texas. Teams A and W made it by scoring high in skills, with A scoring 303 points and W scoring 383. G team made it by winning the Innovate Award at State. While G and W made it last year, this will be the A team's first time advancing. We pity the fools that go up against them. The Student Teacher Olympics, sponsored by the Chick-fil-A Leadership Academy, will be held on April 24th at 5.30 in the main gym. The cost is $5 per student who can sign up as an individual or four-person team. Activities will include spike ball, cornhole, can jam, dodgeball, knockout, a football throw, home run derby, hula hoop, and some relay races. Students can sign up via this QR code or in person at lunch. All proceeds will go to the Alec Matalin Foundation Scholarship. Students can also earn Honor Society points by participating. Hi, I'm Chris with CPTV News. Over spring break, the CPHS concert bands traveled to Orlando, Florida to participate in the Festival Disney competition, along with many other high school bands from across the country. They placed second overall and received a superior rating. This experience allowed students to gain feedback from highly skilled musicians and professors. While in Orlando, they also visited many theme parks like Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, and Universal Studios. Italians who use English and other foreign words in official communications could face fines of up to 100,000 pounds, or roughly $109,000, under new legislation introduced by Prime Minister Giorgio Maloney. While the legislation encompasses all foreign languages, it is particularly geared at Anglomania, or use of English words, which the draft states, demeans and mortifies the Italian language, adding that it is even worse because the UK is no longer a part of the EU. The proposed law would include, quote, correct use of the Italian language and its pronunciation, end quote, in schools, media, commerce, and advertising. This would mean that saying bruschetta instead of bruschetta could be a punishable offense. The CPHS Student Council is hosting their second annual 3-on-3 three three basketball tournament on April 19th in the gymnasium. The entry fee will be $30 per team, and all of the proceeds will be going to CPHS's Dance Marathon for Lurie's Children's Hospital. So if you want to play the 3-on-3 three three basketball tournament, first of all, you need to be a CPHS student, so you can't take anyone from a different school. You also have to come and get one of these forms from either Mrs. Fano or myself. I'm in room E216, Mrs. Fano's in C114. You'll need to fill it out with the names of your teammates and each person needs to pay $10. All proceeds are gonna go to Lori Children's Hospital. Students who participate have an opportunity to win a $25 gift card. If you're a big fan of the heavy metal band Metallica and movies, you are going to love this. Metallica is releasing their 12th studio album entitled 72 Seasons during a worldwide listening party held at select cinemas on Thursday, April 13th. The screening will feature music videos for each of the album's 12 songs, plus commentary from band members. The showing closest to us will be at AMC Cherville 16 at 7 p.m. If you're interested in being on the CPHS cheer team, the call-out meeting will be on Monday, April 17th at 4.30 in the small cafeteria. There will be open gyms next week, April 18th and 20th in the North Balcony, and tryouts will take place April 25th, 26th, and 29th in the main gym. Before we go, a quick look at our CP and WI weather forecast. On Friday, we'll get a glimpse of summer with partly sunny skies and a high of 75 during the day and an overnight low of 57. There is a chance of showers and storms in the afternoon on Saturday with a high of 74 and a low of 45. On Sunday, partly sunny skies with another chance of rain and cooler temps move in with a high of only 56. 
Remember, for the latest in CP and NWI news, check in regularly with CPTV News or thedogradio.com at the bottom of every hour. Follow us on Snapchat at CPTV underscore quick cut to catch a replay of this episode or any episodes you may have missed. See you next time.